Hello everyone, our lesson today is about electromagnetic waves. If you remember in the previous lesson, we talked about electromagnetic waves in general. We introduced the electromagnetic waves. We took some example. We mentioned some examples uh, of uh, electromagnetic waves. Today we will explain or we will uh, introduce the examples of in electromagnetic waves in details. For example, the first example of electromagnetic waves we will explain radio waves. Radio waves it's one of the examples for electromagnetic waves. How these radio waves will be produced artificially. Stars are natural emitters of radio uh, waves. This is that something that is happening naturally. But what about the radio waves that are produced artificially? However, radio waves can be produced artificially by making a current oscillate in a transmitting antenna or area. How is that? In simple radio system, how it works? Firstly, there will be a microphone. When you will talk, this microphone will take the uh, sound, okay, and it will control the current to the aerial or the antenna. And this, it will make this uh, antenna to uh, pulsate or to form the uh, radio waves. More details about this one or how it will happen. When you will talk through a microphone, this microphone will send uh, electric signal, signal to the antenna. This antenna, it's made up of atoms. So, these atoms, or exactly the electrons of the atoms, it will start vibrating. When it will start vibrating, now it will make, uh, or it will produce waves. So, here it's how we produce uh, the radio waves artificially. Then, the next step. In the radio receiver here we produce the and uh, we produce the waves and now it's time to uh, receive these waves how we will receive it okay the radio receiver the incoming pulsation controls a loudspeaker again here what will happen as you know uh, each radio it has uh, another antenna this antenna it will receive this pulsations when it will receive these pulsations or when it will receive this uh, uh, oscillations what will happen this oscillations or this pulsation it will uh, control it will be it will control the speaker so when it will control the speaker so it will produce a copy of the original sound so this is what they mean by radio waves we will have uh, it, it goes it goes through two uh, stages the first stage it's producing pulsation and the second step it's receiving this pulsation long and medium waves radio waves it has this uh, it has two types of waves long and uh, medium waves but some properties about long and medium waves if you look at this drawing here what do we have as you can see here we have the waves these waves okay are coming from this side the resource of this wave it's here and the uh, here in at this side what will happen they will receive these uh, waves but as you can see between the source and between the receiver there is what there is a hell this hell what will happen when this waves it will uh, face a hell it will start diffracting okay it will start bending uh, on this 
uh, hill. So long and medium waves will diffract around hills. So a radio can still receive signal even if a hill block the direct uh, road from the transmitting area. Okay. Long waves will also diffract around curved surface of Earth. For example, uh, if you will listen to some radio stations, okay, uh, the source of this uh, radio stations, for example, it's far from Iraq. Maybe it, it's coming from another country. Okay, but uh, an it's coming from another country. So these uh, waves are uh, traveling long distances. And of course, there will be some obstacles uh, in front of them, like uh, hills. So what it's happening here, these waves, when it's facing any kind of obstacle or any kind of something that it uh, try to stop it, so what will happen? It will bend over this object. VHF and UHF waves. These kind of waves, they are what? They are they have short wave length. It's not like the first one, long and medium waves, okay? So, VHF and UHF, they are, uh, or they have shorter wave length. So, because they have uh, short wave length, so they cannot bend over uh, like uh, health, okay? So, here, this kind of waves they use for, uh, Stereo radio, okay, and uh, for TV bro uh, broadcasts because they cannot diffract uh, around hills. So for good reception, they need to be a straight. Uh, they need to be in a straight path between the transmitting and receiving aerials. So this kind of uh, waves, uh, there should be a th there should be a straight line between them, uh, between the source and uh, the uh, receiver. Microwaves. Microwaves also is another example of radio waves. The feature, uh, a feature about these uh, waves or about microwaves, they are what? They have the shortest wave length. Okay. Microwaves, they have the shortest wave length from the name micro micro it means very small or too small okay this kind of waves they used by mobile phones wi-fi and uh, for beaming tv okay so this kind of waves uh, when it travel and when it will be absorbed by any object uh, it has a heat effect what's that mean it will makes the object uh, hot. So, depending on this principle, uh, they uh, they use the microwaves for heating food. So, what will happen? This when this uh, microwaves uh, it uh, pass it pass through the food. The food it contains water. So, this water will absorb this heat, and then the food will be hot. Infrared radiation and light. When a radiant heater or grill is switched, let's take example a grill. When a grill is switched, so what will happen? Now you can detect the infrared radiation coming from it. How? Once you will turn on the grill, so what will happen? The electricity will start passing through it, it causing vibration, electrons of uh, atoms. So. This vibration, uh, it will cause what? It will produce uh, infrared uh, radiation. Then, as the as the electricity is passing uh, through this grill, what will happen? This grill it will heat up. So, uh, this grill or this object it will heat up. So, and this uh, heat it will start increasing. For example. At about 700 Celsius, the shortest wavelength radiant can be detected by eye. Okay, so firstly, what will happen? Uh, the object will turn uh, red. Then, if you will keep giving more electricity for it, so what will happen? 
this temperature it will start increasing more and more so when it will increase more now the color of the object it will change firstly as we said will start being red then it will turn to be yellow and at the end when uh, the temperature of the object it reach 1000 and above so what will happen the color of the object will turn to be uh, white so they call it white hot object some uses of infrared uh, radiation for example security alarms and lamps can be switched on by mo motion sensors that uh, pick up the changing pattern of infrared caused by a approaching person how is that some sensors detect the uh, change in the temperature for example if a person will pass next to the sensor uh, as we know the our body temperature okay it differ from the temperature of the environment so uh, when this sensor will detect any change in uh, any sudden change in the temperature that's mean there is an object it's passing from here so it will start making sound another uh, uses of it which is uh, for example uh, by using uh, at night okay at night photographs can be taken by using infrared and telephone networks signals are sent along optical fibers as pulses of infrared light and remote controls remote control controls for TV also it works by transmitting infrared pulses uh, the infrared uh, pulses here for remote controls uh, if you look at the remote control you will see it has like a uh, lens or it's like LED uh, light okay so when you will press on any one of the bottoms okay so this slide it will make it will uh, make infrared ray this kind of infrared ray we cannot see it by our eyes but if you want to see it you can see it by using your phone camera how just turn on your phone camera and put it in front of this lens or in front of the remote control and just press on the buttons and you will see it will start lightning and giving uh, turning on and off you will see uh, a red light coming out from this uh, remote control ultraviolet radiation ultraviolet radiation also it's another kind of radiation that it comes from a very hot object when we say a very hot object so uh, directly sun it comes to our mind so sun because it's a very hot, hot object so it will gives uh, radiation what kind of radiation it will gives uh, ultraviolet radiation this ultraviolet radiation sometimes they call it ultraviolet light even though it is invisible okay it's invisible but sometimes they call it ultraviolet light this ultraviolet light it has positive effect and also a negative effect uh, or it has we can say it has advantages and disadvantages the disadvantages of it it's if it will penetrate it cause uh, it it can kill it it can harm uh, living cells how if it will penetrate uh, the living cells for uh, it penetrate the skin and the living cells uh, for a long time so this it might cause uh, skin cancer uh, but people with dark skin uh, they can just absorb this uh, ultraviolet light before it penetrate the cells and so their uh, its effect it will be less if we will compare it from people with uh, light skin color so people with light skin color uh, their skin it cannot uh, absorb this uh, ultraviolet light ultraviolet uh, ray or light so it will pass through the cells uh, then it might cause uh, skin cancer this is the disadvantages of it but in and from other hand 
uh, or the ad the advantages of it is ultraviolet is harmful to living cells but so it's used in some types of sterilizing equipment to kill bacteria okay it can kill the cells but in here for example in a human or in people it causes uh, skin cancer but at the same time we can use it to sterilize uh, equipments uh, if this equipment it has uh, germs or like a bacteria in it so it will kill this bacteria fluorescent some materials fluoresce when they absorb ultraviolet what's that mean uh, if you hit about fluorescent uh, bulbs or lamps, some lamps they have, uh, for example, a, uh, a kind of powder in it, a white powder. When this white powder, example, the ultraviolet is produced by passing an electric current through the gas in the tube, which is the lamp. X rays. X rays. Also, it's another example of electromagnetic waves. The principle of X-ray, it's what? Also, it's, or it depends on electron movement. Okay. So, X-ray are given off when fast moving electrons lose very, lose energy very quickly. How is that? For example, if you will take a look on this photograph, this is an X-ray photograph. Here, as you can see, what do we have? We have bones, okay? So, the tool or the equipment that it will send the electrons here. So, it will send electrons with a uh, long wavelength. So, long wavelength, what will happen? It can penetrate the flesh okay and then when it will reach the bones so the bones here it will what it will absorb this uh, wavelength and it will emit it what do you mean by it will emit it it will bounce it it will uh, like reflect it so uh, at the end here we can get uh, a photograph about the bones there is another kind of uh, X-rays, the X-rays that it gives a very uh, short wavelength. This kind of uh, X-rays, they can use it to detect if there is any flaws inside a metal. And also here X-rays, also it's uh, dangerous for uh, living cells because it can uh, kill the cells and also it can cause cancer or mutation because uh, it can kill cells and uh, cause can let's say it because it can kill cells so uh, the concentrated beam of x-ray can be used to treat cancer by destroying the abnormal cells gamma rays gamma rays it's similar to x-ray both of them they have short wave length uh, and both of them uh, they are harmful for the living cells both of them they can cause cancer and also both of them they can uh, use for treating the cancer and uh, sterilizing or killing sterilizing equipment for uh, killing bacteria but the difference the only difference between them it's what it's their source what do you mean by uh, their source for example here gamma rays from where we can get this uh, rays we can get this rays from uh, from the energy of the nucleus of an atom so uh, gamma rays okay they are produced when a nucleus of unstable atoms breaks up or lose energy okay so gamma rays we can get it from where we can get it from the nuclei of unstable atom when we will break down this a nuclei we can get the energy out from it uh, so this we call it gamma rays while 
uh, here in x-ray the x-ray uh, we can get it okay the x-ray uh, are produced when electrons strike a target or when electrons rearrange within an atom here we say tool or the equipment the tool sent array okay he has uh, electrons so here what will happen this electrons it will hit the bonds and it will it will emit or it will reflect so here what it's happening in x-ray in x-ray it's sending electrons and these electrons will be reflected but here in gamma rays we will have unstable nuclei or unstable nucleus breaking down it and getting the energy out from it so that was everything for electromagnetic waves and the examples uh, of electromagnetic waves i hope everything was clear watch the video then write a comment your task for this lesson is to solve the questions on the workbook again if you have any questions about the course book or about the workbook uh, please don't hesitate to text me this was the last lesson for this week enjoy your day and have a nice weekend thank you